info book you were being lied to was just mind blowing to me. With the, you know Oklahoma City, the, the you know the the brigadier general who testified that there was no way an info bomb could create that kind of the head of Air Force weapons development, Ben Parton. Yeah, yeah, and stuff like that it was mind blowing. And then I went from there, and I'd read other books, and I'd watch other videos, and I'd you know go to websites, and, and at some point you go, this really has nothing to do with me. I'm so upset about all these things that I'm not enjoying my life at all. And a lot of the things that I believe are true. Once you Operation Northwoods, again, once you read a document like that, you go, this is the, you know, an open declassified document. Yes, anything's possible. Anything else you say, I have to give some credibility to that could be true because I've seen enough things that are true. And, but you go, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, Alex, I don't care. It's, it's not. It's not affecting me. When humanity is just like any other commodity, where the more you have, the less the value. I believe that, and I, I think the more people. When you're trying to talk about, you know, a government, with the, what 300 million people we have in this country, you can't judge that. You can't rule that like it's a community. And that brings me back to the point that people suck. I, if if I had to put money on whether or not 9/11 was an inside job, I'd bet money on yes. Uh, but it doesn't affect my life. <laughs> There's a lot of tragedies that occur every day that I choose not to just sit around and go, this is wrong in the police state, and they're trying to do this. You, you make up your own, you know, you're, you, you learn how to live under. But, Doug, you're saying you've given up. To an extent, yeah. I, I've given up making myself crazy. I used to watch your stuff all the time and go mad, and not just your stuff, but I, and I'd follow links, and I would, I would just realize how awful my life became because of all of these things that I'm impotent to because, do. See, I found out, Doug, we can really have an effect. All right. If, if you're, if you're, they use fear that's based on lies. I use fear that's based on truth. Well, it's, they use fear that's based on nothing. Like, it's just you know, silliness, something to distract you in your day. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of an example, but you know, whatever. The, you know, the stupid hybrid car where the, the, your gas pedal is going to stick and you're going to go careening into a wall and people are all about the Toyota. You don't even own a Toyota. What do you care for? People like to be distracted. They want to be afraid because they don't want to face the awful reality that probably nothing of any significance will ever happen to you in your entire life. Most people will go through life. They're not going to be on American Idol. They won't win the lottery. They won't be caught in gang warfare. They'll just have their hump job in a cubicle and they'll get a gold watch when they're 60 and they'll die of something and that's going to be their whole life. And I kind of, at some point, do you, don't you want to enjoy your day? Do you ever take a day off? That's what I want to know. Do you ever just go, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to the pool. I do do that. All right. Enough of the New World Order. I know it's out there, but take a day off. Yeah, but then I see chemtrails, I see billboards, That's what I, propaganda. I can't imagine being you. Like, I, I went through a, a period of my life where I was that, like, just insane with it all. And I, I just love to see you just one day sitting by a pool at a Holiday Inn with Bermuda shorts on, and a big lobster sunburn going, Soaking in sodium fluoride. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, I don't, no, I, I, I think we're both just, uh, what, what's another word for... Uh, peeing into the wind I think, yeah i think we're probably both wasting a lot of time where we should be enjoying our girlfriends or your your children and taking days at the beach i think i wouldn't want to have to sit on this planet waiting to get to heaven again it's a joke i used to do but if you really believe in such a, an eternal bliss in the afterlife why are you still wearing a seat belt wouldn't you be in a hurry to get